Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews and joining me is Mia Shin from um, ViewSonic. So Mia, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you again, Philip. Yes, we get to talk at least a couple of times a year to go over some of the exciting um, projectors that ViewSonic in is introducing. So this spring in 2022, um, they have a wide range of projectors that we're going to be talking about. But before we get started, we'd like to thank our sponsors, AV Pro Edge and Meridio, for helping me put on this spring's Projection Summit, where we talk about all things projection, including screens, projectors, and even sources. So Mia, um, how many different models are you going to be introducing this year? Well, we're, we, we're actually having a lot of new, but very exciting new models. And we're going to focus on LED, two LED home theater, two LED business, um, one laser ultra short sword, and a one person now um, LED 4K. So that's what I'm going to introduce yeah. to you today. Okay, so as you can see, ViewSonic has a tremendous amount of projectors. So whether you're looking for something for business, education, or even home theater, um, they have a solution. They're moving their lineup to have more laser and LED focused projectors and the bulbs are kind of being phased out. So Mia, why are you phasing out the lamps and bulbs and going more towards these solid state um, light sources? Right. So um, we still have some lamps, that's for sure, but um, we definitely believe that lamp free is the future. So it's just like, uh, you know, um, the car industry, they are evolved from, you know, gas car to the electric car. So similar here, we want to try to focus, uh, you know, something um, better performance and also greener to our mother earth. Well, you know, it can also help you, um, you know, not so painful when you get your energy bill. So we think LED and the um, laser lamp free, those are more, you know, a future proof solution when it comes to your home theater solutions. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus, LED give you better color, better color performance, higher color saturation level. So, yeah, there the list is nonstop for me to talk about good things about LED. And as you can see, um, there's pros and cons of both LED and laser. A lot of us are quite familiar with laser projectors. You'll see them all over the place. But a lot of times, when we thought about LED, LED projectors, we always thought with these little itty bitty guys. But now, if, as you look at it, the brightness of LED projectors are getting higher and higher and higher. So now you don't just, before it was like, oh, you want solid state bright, you bought a laser. Um, now it's like you can look at it, determine what's the best app, um, light source for your particular application. Because now we're, um, we're easily reaching the brightness levels that are expected from a, a laser or even a lamp-based system. We're gonna talk about a couple examples today. So for example, there's this business projector that utilizes um, LED. So can you talk a little bit about this projector, Mia? Right, so we have two new projectors adding to our current business LED line up. Um, that's LS500WH and LS500-550WH. The difference is when it's regular throw, if you have space, that's a perfect one for you. If you have limitations on the space and you need a shorter throw, go with LS550WH. They both are pure LED light source, not a hybrid. And also uh, wide XGA, so that's 1280 times 800. It's a very uh, popular format for business and the classroom content. The big difference is that between the regular and the short throw, basically where are you going to place it? Um, it just gives you more placement flexibility. Yeah. So to find out which one works best, you can go on their website and they talk about the throw distances and you can say, okay, in my space on my screen, which one is going to work best for, for our particular application in a business or in a classroom. And it's um, it can deliver up to 3,000 3, LED lumens or about 2,000 um, ANSI lumens, which is which is more than enough for for many screens. And um, uh, uh, Mia will probably tell you that a lot of times when you look at LED light, the, the human eye seems to be a little bit more sensitive to it, so it seems to be more intense. So that's why you see an LED lumens rating and an ANSI lumens rating, correct? Right, and we do have like a. Um interesting test with our customer 
we demo two different projectors. One is a 4,000 ANSI lumens lens-based projector, and another one we're using this model. That's 2,000 um, ANSI lumens LED projector. And then most of the customers they wouldn't be able to, you know, tell which one is brighter when we do a side by side um, shootout. And also got a lot of feedback we got from the customer is well they like the 2,000 ANSI lumens LED projectors better because the color is just richer. So yeah, so just like you mentioned that human eyes were more sensitive to that. So we actually feel, well, wow, it's more, it's brighter. It's just more prettier. So it's prettier. Yeah. yeah. The colors are, the colors pop more, red seem deeper, yeah. um, green seem more intense and stuff like that. So you get better color and you get, uh, like I said, an incredible amount of light. So if, even if you look at a, an LED light source, it actually, uh, people love the fact that lasers at last an average of 20,000 hours. Well, these LEDs actually can last 30, up to 30,000, which is noticeable. Yeah. And because of its brightness, you can use it in a dark environment because it has good contrast or in a brighter environment. So there's some serious advantages to these LED light sources. And since we're talking business and education, we do also have to think about things like cost of installation and cost of maintenance. And when you compare a projector with an LED light source, to one with a lamp, um, it, it, there is some noticeable cost savings. So you may pay a little bit more to step into an LED, but overall, um, over the years of use, you, you save money, right? Right, definitely. You know, from using an LED, like 20, 30,000 hours for LED uh, light source projector. That means so like if in school, you use four hours a day, that lasts longer than 20 years. So mm -hmm. think about that. Over the 20 uh, year lifespan, you don't, you really don't, nothing for you to worry about maintenance and the replacement lamps. And also mm -hmm. you're being nicer to our mother earth. So um, no mercury bulbs, no um, lower power consumption, lower maintenance, and you can see it's pretty compact and it is a, uh, a great little unit for yes. those particular applications. Actually, do you have one? Yeah, I do. So yeah, it's, it's actually the form factor is a very, it's a small form factor. So wonderful. If you don't want to uh, install, if you don't want to do ceiling mounted, it's, you know, easy to go on tabletop or, you know, your application in your meeting room in the mm -hmm conference room table so yeah very compact and you can you know easily move that from one meeting room to another meeting room okay the other thing i like about it mia is where you guys put the control panel so if you look at the control panel this is either going to be sitting on a desk or it's going to be sitting on the ceiling or placed on the ceiling and a lot of times those put control panels are along the side which makes it a little difficult to to uh, adjust but this right. sitting on a this sitting on a conference room table and you want to switch between you want to switch or make adjustments having the controls right on the top and if you look at that control panel that's kind of a newer control panel you have all the controls you need so you're not hunting for the remote control to make right. those adjustments so that's so that's something that's kind of nice too in a business application because I will tell you 90% of the time um, somebody loses their remote for the projector in the boardroom <laughs> yeah, or in the classroom and trying to use a, just a toggle switch to make those adjustments takes four ever so having <laughs> more controls like almost what you would see under more control on the top of the projector um makes it a great solution so that's just me thinking about all the projectors that i've had to mount in cupboard rooms and stuff like that so moving on from there uh let's talk a little bit about this the cinema projector so this is the x1 and x2 and what separates the x1 from the x2 mia uh, also, again, it's a short throw. X2 is a short throw projector, and then X1 is a regular throw. So, uh, just like uh, Philip, you mentioned that, you know, just discuss what throw ratio uh, you need based on the distance you have between the projector and the image, and then, you know, figure out what kind of size of image you want, and you, you know that if you need a short throw or not. But this is also a um, LED, utilized LED um, light source, correct? Right. So this is like the, the sisters, um, but for home theater uh, entertainment purpose um, versus the business one we just introduced to you. So this is uh, similar, but also um, bright and with good color, pure LED and uh, equipped with more um, and home entertainment features. And it's Wi-Fi enabled plus um, better uh, sounding through uh, custom Harman Kardon speakers. It's funny. Seems like home theater people are actually more demanding than a lot of the um, 
than a lot of the business customers when it comes to connectivity, you know, like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the ability to play stuff off a of USB-C and, you know, better sound system. The other thing that I like about it is in order to keep the picture square on your screen, you need to make sure that the projector and the screen is perfectly aligned. And anybody who's ever been in the house knows that the projector goes where the projector goes. So, so a lot of times getting it perfectly aligned can be a little difficult. It's nice that it has actual vertical lens shift because a lot of times it allows you to, to square it up when it's not physically perfectly aligned. And then you have the ability to use horizontal and vertical keystoning to kind of fine tune it. So, so it really helps maintain the sharpness of the image by using the, the lens shift. And, um, but you still have all the flexibility of getting it square on your screen in your room. And it has a 1.3 zoom, a little right. bit more placement flexibility. Is the short throw $100 more than the, than the right. regular throw? Is that the price? Okay. Uh, yeah. All your controls are at the very top. Ah, you actually have one. <laughs> I know you always no. have, you're always prepared. Okay. Yeah, so this is the latest our ID for the uh, home entertainment LED series. All right, now the other one we want to talk about real quick is portable. Um, we do a lot of little articles about portable projectors. Portable can be a lot of different, can be, or think of it as transportable. You want to be able to maybe utilize it um, in your bedroom or in a small room, but then maybe take it someplace. Or if you're a college student and you want to move your projector from um, dorm room to dorm room or buddy's house to your house or in a military barracks to barracks that is where these portable um, solutions are really really cool but this is a portable personal theater and so it has to have all the stuff you need for a great experience so that also means sound reliability it's got to be easy to carry and the list goes on and on now this is a new version of the x10 correct? Yeah, so this is X11, so this is the next gen of X10, but the, the still the concept uh, um, is still similar that you you know you get your own for your own 4K theater you carry around wherever you want to go, where you want to share, then uh, this is the perfect solution for you because we oh no there are a lot of portable projectors out there, but they're just not 4K. They're definitely not as powerful as this one. This one is like all-in-one audio, visual, everything. Yet it's still carryable. So it's just right here. Yeah, and I love the handle, by the way, because yeah, it, and we, we talk, the leather, you know, so to make yeah, it a little cover as well, the cover is really cool too to protect the lens. Um, so it really does look make it really easy for you to move it from place to place. And when you look at the design, it won a ton of um, design awards as well for its really, really cool, it, its cool form factor. Now, you know me, you should send me one of those for review. You know, Definitely. I want to review that. Okay, so. <laughs> so I definitely want to review that one because um people I get asked a lot, hey, I wanna I want something I can take from place to place, but I want it to be bright. And, and now you're adding the fact that it's LED, so you don't have to worry about the life and it's 4K, so you got the resolution and it has a good sound system, correct? Yeah, definitely. Again, it's a uh, custom home and carton speakers built in. So mm -hmm. and also we engineered this one um to um, have lower dB level to ensure that, you know, the sound system can be, you know, people will be able to fully indulge in the um, the audio part, enjoy uh, the music or the, use that as a live concert projector or watch a movie, uh, whatever you do, the audio part is really important and want to make sure you won't get, uh, you know, bothered by the dB level. So this is one of the improvement. Okay, so room filling sound, um, HDR, it's bright, 2400 LED lumens, is, mm -hmm. is quite bright, great sound system that's been upgraded, um, a shorter throw, because most likely you're going to have that sitting on the coffee table in front of you, projecting at your screen, so all of those things. And finally, auto autofocus, instant autofocus, so you, once you place it there, it'll automatically fo focus to get you the best picture quality possible, so you're not constantly trying to adjust the right um, this is portable focus. so yeah we understand the nature is you're going to move this from room to room so you don't you don't it save you the trouble to manually adjust every single time when you turn it on it's just uh, the algorithm um the smart algorithm will do it for you so yes yeah so like i said you got to send me one because <laughs> i 
definitely, definitely want to play with it. So there was two pieces that she brought up to me that I said, hey, I absolutely want to review. The first one is, like I said, that little X11 4K, and I, I think it's just a really cool piece. But then she sent me another piece that I have never had a chance to play with yet, and I really want to play with. And this is ViewSonic's new a laser TV. So what is this guy? This is definitely our uh, product of the year. This is the flagship um, ViewSonic uh, uh, new projector. So what's the difference? Um, this is a laser. So laser, the brightness will be, um, you know, more powerful. And also, mm -hmm. again, this one uh, comes with a lot of great, um, great features for home theater, for home entertainment. Um, mm -hmm. HDMI arc because a lot of people you know you when you use HDMI you need two cables for um, both video and audio but it was the new HDMI arc then you really need just need a one single cable you have both the video and the audio uh, mm -hmm. on top of that you know this is HDR HDG support uh, true 4k and also uh 2000 nc lumens pretty bright um mm -hmm. and uh, ultra show throw so what do we mean by ultra show throw nine inches away uh from the wall you get a hundred inch uh 100 inches uh image so it's mm -hmm. just it can actually act like a tv uh and mm -hmm. a turn tv in your living room in your or in your bedroom this is just a perfect solution and another part again not only harmon cotton speakers um this one this one is also dolby dts support so mm -hmm. make you know this one will definitely be the one to have your own home concert your mm -hmm. um yeah concert at home so this is definitely will be the one that will will make sure that philip get his hands on and try for mm -hmm. us I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the home theater is video and sound. I like the fact it has its own built-in sound system. But then there's other things that are really neat. So say, for example, because it has a good sound system, say you want to just use it to play some music back. Well, it has Bluetooth capabilities. So you could Bluetooth a music service to it or your favorite songs to it and play it back using that great Harman Kardon sound system. The other thing I like, so say you want to watch a movie. It happens all the time in my house that I want to watch a movie and the rest of the family goes to sleep. And I'm blasting my sound system. And then um, my wife says, turn it down, turn it down. <laughs> the kids are asleep. So now you actually have the ability to, to broadcast the sound to a pair of Bluetooth headphones. So I can put on the headphones and watch the movie with all the explosions and gunshots and stuff like that without disturbing others. So you have a great sound system built in, Bluetooth reception, and Bluetooth transmission. And right. then if you decide you want to have, like, like Mia said, that you decide you want to have an even bigger sound system, you have the ability to send um, HDMI arc. Anything that's connected to it can be sent off to a sound system via one cable. So that cable sends video to the projector or it can send audio to a AV receiver. So lots of audio flexibility. Some other things that we talked about, when you're trying to set up an ultra short throw projector, they're very finicky when it comes to getting them aligned to the screen. So there's um, really precise um, adjustment, correct? To get that image can per get perfectly set up on the screen, right, Mia? Right. So we have the full corner adjustment and also the warping adjustment. Um, mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it um, doesn't really matter what your interior design is. It, it won't interfere with your interior design. You can even project this on a um, spherical um, surface. It doesn't need to be flat. Uh, mm -hmm. And we, again, uh, utilize a camera and also the algorithm to adjust um, mm -hmm. back to the perfect square shape and also uh, focus. So just to make it like a breeze for you to um, don't be intimidated by projectors because that's a lot of people's experience in the past. And this exactly. is a lot great improvement nowadays to make sure you have a more intuitive experience when using a projector for home entertainment. When you talk about the term laser TV, a TV replacement has to do a lot of different things. And the first thing is, it's easy to set up. So of course you have your, your adjustment, so you can get it set up, you can get it focused. The next thing is, because these, these laser projectors can last 20,000 hours, you can okay. watch it like a TV, instant on, instant off like a TV. Next thing is TVs have sound systems. Well, this has got an even better sound system than what you would have on, on a television set. So all those things that would maybe make you hesitant 
to utilize a projector for your TV replacement. Um, a lot of those have been solved in this Fusonic Laser TV. Correct, Mia? Yeah, definitely. So that's uh, the whole, you know, the important um, key points um, of this projector. It's just try to make your using projector as alternative TV experience a lot easier, simpler. Um, so you don't, you know, you don't feel intimidated. Um, and while you can still have the benefits of having your own home theater, because uh, mm -hmm. still, well, we know that TV is getting cheaper and cheaper, but still, how many people would be able to afford uh, over 100 inches, um, you know? display at home but it was projectors it's portable well it's also well not only 100 it can go beyond 100 inches and it's all about the home theater experience it's 2000 ansi lumens correct is what we're talking about here? yeah okay, so is, definitely, definitely good enough for home theater i am looking forward to this guy mm -hmm. um when is it, when is this one going to be released well, around like early june so but well, we definitely want to talk to you about it get you excited about it because because June is coming up quite rapidly. So Mia, thank you again for coming and talking about um, this, some of the models that are offered by Fusani. Thank you for having me, Philip. I'm looking forward to talk to you again soon. Okay, so to learn more about um, Fusonic's offering of projectors, for whether it's business or education, or even portable, check out Viewsonic.com. And to check out our reviews, on ViewSonic products that we have done in the past at projectorreviews.com. So thank you for hanging out with us today as we talked about these cool new models and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.